What's up all the people on the internet, my name is Milo and this is Daily Plus. Hello, hello everyone once again and welcome back to Daily Plus, your favorite show about everything Eurovision. So today we have a little bit of Eurovision news, a little bit of Junior Eurovision news and of course our country spotlight. So without further ado, let's get started. And we are starting in the United Kingdom because the British broadcaster BBC have officially announced that their national final form at Eurovision You Decide will be back next year. This year for the first time in many many years the UK decided to go with a national final once more. Five songs competed in this national final with the name Eurovision You Decide, and it ended up with Joe and Jake representing the country with the song You're Not Alone. Despite not being a big success like the UK had hoped for, they have decided to once more try out this national final format, and you can now submit your songs on the BBC website, and you can do that up until the 1st of November, and all the information is on our website. This year in Stockholm, the United Kingdom was represented by Joe and Jake, who only managed to get 24th place at the grand final. We have some very exciting Junior Eurovision news coming your way today, because it has been announced by the Maltese broadcast as the PBS, how the stage of this year's Junior Vision will look like. This is the stage that the 17 countries will be performing on on the 20th of November in Valletta and Malta. It have already previously been announced that the contest this year will be held in the Mediterranean Conference Center, the biggest auditorium on the small island of Malta. A lot of people have speculated how the stage would look like given that it is a rather small auditorium, especially compared to Arena Amec that we saw the contest being hosted in last year in Bulgaria. But it looks like PBS have handled the situation rather well and we have a fantastic stage for this year's Junior Eurovision. This is the second time that Malta is hosting the Junior Eurovision. The first time they did was in 2014 and they did that in the Marsa shipbuilding, a former shipyard that was transformed into a television set for the very special occasion. Serbia have announced its singer and song for this year's Junior Eurovision. 12 year old Dunja Jelicic will be singing for Serbia for this year's Junior Eurovision and the song she will be singing is called Ooh La La La. The song have already been released by the Serbian broadcast and you can take a little look at the the music video right here and let us know what you think down in the comments. Last year Serbia was represented by Lina Stemankovic and her song Lenina Pesma and that song managed to score 7th place at the grand final. Cyprus have also released a music video for their song Dance Floor. The song which is sung by 13 year old George Michalendis was released earlier this week both on his own YouTube page and the Junior Vision YouTube page. Take a little listen to the song right here and let us know what you think down in the comments. <laughs> Cyprus is returning to the Junior Eurovision this year. The last time they participated was in 2014. Alexa Curtis from Australia is also ready with her song. In the early hours of Australia, meaning midnight for us, we saw the release of the music video for We Are, the song which will be representing Australia at this year's Junior Eurovision. You can also take a look at that music video right here. Last year Australia debuted at the Junior Eurovision with Bella Page and her song My Girls. That song managed to score 8th place at the grand final. Russia is ready with a major overhaul of their song that is going to be representing the country in Valletta next month. Originally the song was just sung by Sofia Fischenka who won the Russian national final a couple months back, but it has now been revealed by the Russian broadcaster that she will be joined by three bagging singers and the group will be known as the Water of Life project. The song has also been translated to the title Water of Life and the song now includes a little bit of English in the lyrics. You can take a little look at the brand new music video right here and let us know what you think. Last year Russia was represented by Mikhail Smirnov and his song Mista. That song managed to score 6th place at the grand final. And finally we also have a music video for Planet Craves for Love, the song that Sofia Dol will be singing for Ukraine at this year's Junior Eurovision. Sofia was chosen in the Ukrainian national final a couple months back and now we have an official music video. The song has been slightly revamped from the version we saw in the national final and you can take a look at the music video right here. <laughs> Last 
last year Ukraine was represented by Anna Trinchia and her song managed to score 11th place at the grand final. It is now time for our country's spotlight and today we are going to last year's host country, Bulgaria. Bulgaria took part in the Junior Eurovision for the first time ever in 2007 with the group Bonbon bon and their song Bombolandia. Unfortunately, the year after they managed to score their worst result yet when they came dead last with only 15 points. This meant that Bulgaria decided to withdraw from the contest two years before coming back in 2011. There they managed to score a pretty solid 8th place but decided to not take part in the contest in 2012 and 2013. But Bulgaria? They were hungry for more and in 2014 they managed to get their best result to date when Krizia Hassam and Ibrahim sang Planet of the Children and got the country a second place and won the televote. According to Google Trends this created a massive interest in the Junior Eurovision in Bulgaria which also helped the country with staging the contest in 2014 after the winner Italy declined the offer to host the contest. That is why last year the contest was hosted in Sofia in Bulgaria with Poly Genova as the host which later went on to represent the country in Eurovision where she managed to score fourth place at this year's contest in Stockholm. Bulgaria is definitely back in the Junior Eurovision and the Eurovision game and we thank them for that because we are definitely Bulgaria fans. Now let's take a listen to one of the songs that have participated in one of the Bulgarian national finals. Today we are going back to 2011 and we're going to be listening to a song by the singer Daniela Liva. The song is called Simagia which means with magic. Take a little listen to the song right here. Well, that is all we have for Daily Plus this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to leave a like and a favorite and click that subscribe button for all the awesome stuff going on right here on ESC+. If you want all the latest Eurovision and Junior Eurovision news as soon as it comes out, then remember to check our website, escplus.com. We have news, we have polls, we have exclusive interviews. We have everything you need for your Eurovision fix. And if you want to keep up to date with what I am doing, you can check out my channel, youtube.com slash you know me as Milo. I do vlogs, music, and other sorts of entertainment. So check that out too if you want. But that's all I have for you today. See you next week.